right here at Big Lazar. Um, this is the setup. I got the tent. I mean, this is the area right here. And then there's my daughter. Basically, this is the whole view of Big Lazar right here. Now, all these spots behind me, there's camping spots. They're all free. And if you come out here, just be sure to clean up. Don't leave trash and stuff like that because, I mean, this is the only place I've seen so far that's actually decent and it's free. We don't have to pay nothing. Just have to have a, uh, you have to have a land pass or fishing license to be out here camping. That is one requirement. Um, we're making our way down to the river now. We're going to do a catch and cook tonight. It's going to be me and my son. My daughter's going back with her mama tonight. And we're going to be down here for two days. And uh, I'm hoping that I can get this video uploaded by uh, Saturday night. Today is Thursday. So we're going to be out here tonight and tomorrow night. And I mean... If y'all come out here, just like I said, just, you know, clean up after yourselves, you know, that's, I guess I messed part of it being free out here. It does stay clean. Um, there is no water, running water, no electricity. This is, you know, pioneer camping only. Watch for the poison oak. Um, and like I said, if y'all enjoy this kind of stuff. Then, uh, you know, like and subscribe to my videos. I'll try to get a video out once or twice a week. Just depending on uh, when I'm off work. But I'm going to give you a little view right here real quick. This is the view in the woods. There's all kinds of trails. The river's right down there, you can see. That's where we're headed to now. Going to see if we can do a little fishing before my son gets here and... Uh, watch out. See, that's poison oak right there. Anything you see looks like that is poison oak. Like that one right there is poison oak. But, uh, I'm gonna get on down here to the river and do a little fishing down here for a little bit. And I brought some stuff tonight for us. See that? That's poison oak too. So step over it. We're gonna, uh, I'm gonna do a stew cook tonight um, I think that's the trail right there I got off the trail <laughs> alright we're trying to get on back on the trail over here I got off the trail a little bit but yeah we're going to do a stew tonight and maybe some fish if I catch some today I made a video I just put a video out yesterday, uh, Wednesday, I put a video out for y'all, and now I'm doing another video today for y'all. I'm going to try to, like I said, try to get one or two out a week, whatever I can anyways, and I'm going to get y'all on down here and show y'all the Big Lazar River. I got a little small lake on the river up here that sits by itself. You can fish there too. Um, if you're going to be down here overnight, I would recommend bringing a, a solar panel. <laughs> I got my solar panels. Uh, so here, here, here's the problem I have right here. I'm going to show y'all. There's a snake over here somewhere. I just heard him. Yeah. Alright, see this 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 is the problem we have up here. I got something big right here in front of me. I don't know if that's a bobcat. Come here. Hold my pole. Come hold my pole. I'm about to go chase me a bobcat down. Alright, y'all. Y'all see this right here? This is nonsense. I brought a trash bag with me so that I can clean this stuff up while I'm down here. 
But that's nonsense. That's how come camping's not free no more. I mean, that's a pile of junk. You stay right there. I'm gonna go see what this is. I might have went across a bobcat up here. Be nice. Well, might have been a rabbit. I don't know. Whatever it was, ran. I guess that's all that counts. But, all right, let's get back to the river. Yeah, like I said, that's, that's nonsense. Huh? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I got down here on another rainy day. Oh, yeah, another thing. If y'all do come down here, there are signs posted. Don't get in the water. There are gators in this water. And this is Big Lazar. I mean, you got your boat docks. There's, well, there's a dock right there. You got your boat docks right over there. I mean, you're welcome to fish here anytime. As long as you got a fishing license or land pass. But just don't do stuff like this. I'm going to clean all this mess up because I don't want to leave junk like that behind. Alright y'all, didn't catch no fish on our way back to camp, gonna whip up a couple of sandwiches with some chips and then we're gonna sit around for a little bit till it gets a little bit cooler, maybe a little bit darker and then we're gonna head on down to the river again and do some night fishing. Uh, last time I was here I had better luck night fishing, caught a bunch of catfish and some brim and uh, a few uh, bass. But it's an adventure of its own, so I'm gonna take and uh, keep doing what I do, making these videos. And tell you, it is. let me show y'all the camp real quick. There's our fire pit. Got our tent with our tarp set up, just in case it rains on us, which we're in 70% chance of rain today. And it kind of sprinkled a few minutes ago. And then we got the little storage tent right here where we keep all our dry stuff, extra clothes, food, stuff like that. But I'm going to get off here, get some sandwiches made up for me and my daughter, and we're going to sit down and eat and enjoy the clear skies for now. And then my son should be here probably another hour, maybe, maybe two hours, I don't know. It may end up my whole family stays night. I don't know. <laughs> but y'all, y'all just, uh, if you like these videos, subscribe to me. And um, like I said, I'll try to get a couple videos out a week or at least one a week if I can, if possible. Like I said, depends on how work goes. But other than that, I mean, y'all, y'all get out here to Big Lazar. I mean, it's in Talbot and right outside of Thomaston. I mean, it ain't. It ain't that far out, and it's a nice place, a place that, you know, I recommend to people because it is free camping. Just like I said, just keep the trash picked up. Don't be like some people and just leave your trash behind and everything because, I mean, that's that's the, that's the where it stops right there. You know, people can't come out here and camp no more without paying and all that kind of stuff. They're giving you a chance out here to, you know, have fun with your family, and it's free. So... But, I'll be back with y'all shortly. Well, well, we got our sandwiches made. Daughter's eating hers. And I'm special. I've got everything, including the jalapenos. And bread and butter pickles. And cheese and black forest ham with mayonnaise. Best sandwich you can eat. Oh yeah, can't forget the green tea. Always. But, uh. And actually the clouds have gone away. It's sun shining again. Hopefully it'll overcast or something because it's hot. It really is. I want to jump I in like that river my so bad. And she likes her sandwich better than mine. It has mayonnaise, um, black forest ham and chips. And it's good. We're about to sit here and eat and then we're gonna 
Probably do some more fishing here in a little bit as soon as we get some more energy. All this setting up is, whew, oh my God, got me tired. I'm ready to take a nap. I need a hammock. I need to get me a hammock and bring it out here. Well, I should have put the tent over in that uh, shade over there. Well, I'm in shade here too, but that one looks darker. Right up on the hill. Sit back and watch the traffic come by. The deer traffic. Anyway, y'all. Um, you know, uh, in all my videos I make and stuff, I try to recommend, you know, people, if y'all want, if you like this kind of stuff, you got Zach Fowler, you got Mainstream, NWSF, um, you got Joe Robnett, you got the, um, who's that? There's other ones. You got the Wooded Beardsman, the Outdoor Boys. I mean, I recommend all of them. They, they make good videos. And then, uh, Steve-O. He does stealth camping and stuff like that. Um, like I said, it's, I love this stuff. This is my life. Yep. Headed back down to the river, y'all. One more time. It's a little after four o'clock now. I've been piddling around at the camp trying to get it situated for tonight. Me and my daughter's still here. Son ain't got here yet. He'd probably be here between five and oops, six o'clock. Hopefully. I may end up having the whole family here tonight by the time they get back. <laughs> Just saying. Um, anyways. Uh I mean there's not much that I can really tell y'all about anything down here. I mean I don't know much about it myself except for what I've heard and what I've seen. Now there are some big old fish in here. I have reeled in some big cats out of here and some nice size bass and all and there's pictures posted down at the I'm just showing y'all a little bit of trail and everything. The last video cut out on me. Um but anyways, like I was saying, there's pictures down there. People have caught big cats out of here, big bass and everything. I have yet to seen an alligator down here or gators, you know, crocodiles, whatever they got. The signs are posted, though, to be where, I mean, all this down here, all that right down through there, that's camps where you can set up. Last time we was here, we was right down there in that little hole. Come on, baby. But, I mean, it's a nice grassy area. I mean, it's nice out here. I, I love it. It's peaceful. And like I said, if there's anybody from the Thomaston area, y'all watch these videos. Y'all like this kind of stuff. I mean, I'm always looking for somebody to go camping with me because, yes, I don't really have nobody to go camping with me. All right. I might have to edit these videos because they keep cutting out on me for some reason. Anyways, as I was saying, if there's anybody from the Talbotton area, the Thomaston area, y'all enjoy camping and doing this kind of stuff. I mean, like I said, like, subscribe to my video, leave a comment, and let me know. I mean, I'll hit you back up and <clears throat> we go camping. I mean, I enjoy it and I believe whoever likes to camp anyways you know that they'd, they'd enjoy this place i enjoy it so but like i said uh we're going to another part of the river now last time we camped right over there that was our camping spot and there's the river right down there but this time i got further up from the river because uh, last time we had a bunch of yellow jackets and everything and i figured further away from the water wouldn't have to worry about as many as mosquitoes and yellow jackets stuff like that but there's all kinds of trails running down through here you can walk do some fishing um i mean i'm hoping to catch fish tonight i like to do a catch and cook while i'm here making this video if not though i mean hey it's just a it's another day out, enjoyment, and having a good time, and this is where I was last time. We caught uh, three catfish out of here. One of them got away, it was a big one, 
caught a few bass, a few brown. Uh, seen some water moccasins. <laughs> it, was a, it was either moccasins or they might have been water snakes. I don't know. I didn't get close enough to see. But this is it right here, y'all. And this is a good spot. It's shady. And them clouds up here. Woo wee! Look at that. We're gonna get some rain. Uh, all that water. Alright, well, I'm gonna get the fish and see what I can catch. Hopefully, I can pull in a big one. And I have a good catch and cook for y'all tonight. Just gotta be careful, though. I don't wanna cross no snakes. If I do, I guess I'll just make him out of dinner tonight, huh? Catch and cook snake. That'd be something else. And all these dragonflies everywhere. They won't look at you in the face. Hit you in the face. But this is it right here, y'all. I mean, you can't ask for no more peace than this. There's nobody on the campground tonight. Nobody on the lake. That's just peace, y'all. So much peace. So much quietness. Alright, well, I'm going to do some fishing. See y'all soon. Y'all, yeah, well, no luck again. I'm going to start fishing with worms here shortly. Just letting it get a little bit darker. It's almost 5 o'clock now, so... Headed back to camp. You want to, um... Sit back and relax for a little bit. Let it get a little bit darker out. Got about a couple hours worth of sunlight left. Man. And it's hot. I'm telling y'all, it is a hot day. It's like I picked the hottest days to go camping. <laughs> I'll be glad when wintertime gets here, honestly. And then I can do some winter camping. But. If y'all ain't done it yet, hit that like and subscribe button, hit that bell, and every time I put out a video, you get notified. Go back up here to my campground and relax for a little bit. We'll see what tomorrow holds and what tonight holds. Huh. All right, well, y'all enjoy the videos and enjoy the scenery. It's actually worth it coming out here. And if you need to lose some weight, <laughs> this is the best way to do it. Oh God, tell you what, between climbing up this hill right here and going up and down it, yeah, I'll tell you something. I'm gonna get a fire started later and get some stew on and make a night of it. See what we can do. Alright, y'all stay tuned for more. And uh hopefully like I said, we can uh get a a fish here in a little while. A couple of them at least. Alright y'all have a good one. See you soon. Oh well, we decided just to take a walk down the road. Down here, see what's going on 
on the dirt road here. Uh, I ain't that far. Huh. Yeah, I'm coming down to the lake part of Big Lazar. And my son still ain't got here yet. Still waiting. But anyways, enjoying the peace and quiet out here. Done seen a bunch of deers. Not sure to, I ain't too sure about the black bears. I don't know. I ain't seen none. I've been told there may be some out in this area, but I ain't seen none yet. So, anyways. She got woods all up in here. It's like, and there's an opening that's coming up on it right down here. You got you. I'll, this is management of the, uh, what you call it, hunters access trail here. You got your uh, wildlife management areas up the road here. And I know Talbot County had that uh, tornado came through been a few years back, but it tore it up. You can tell, I mean. It got bad. I mean, you can see it down this way too a little bit as far as the trees down and stuff like that. But other than that, I mean, it didn't really do a lot of damage down here around the lake and everything. We just looked up on the thing that, uh, it's a 192 uh, acre lake out here. The squirrels. But... 192 acre lake out here and just about to the other part of the lake y'all check that out oops sorry i flipped y'all around huh my bad deer tracks this is a big open field right here like somebody been driving down through here. I don't think they're supposed to. I'm way out here. Up in them woods right there on the other side of them woods is where we're camped out at. At the campground. So that just tells you that it's not far. I mean, to walk. If you wanted to walk, it actually, you could walk from here. If you cut, if you cut into the woods right there and you follow the woods back around, it'll take you right back into the camp. But I might have to bring the boat out here one day. Camp out here. Be nice right here on this green grass. Be doing some camping. Whew. Tell you what, man. Only if. Yeah. But I should have brought my fishing pole down here. There's a big old bass to jump right there in the middle. Man. Oh, yeah. that, that's what fish are jumping left and right out there. Huh. I have to go get my fishing pole and come back down here. Kind of shallow right here, though. I bet it. Oh, yeah. I, that's what I'm going to do. Tonight, I'm going to come out here and I'm going to do some catfishing right here. Because in the shallows right here, there's a depth. You can see the shallow water. When we get closer up on it. What's the sign say? Safety zone, no hunting. Oh, gotcha. But, yeah, I'm going to come out here tonight. and or I might do it here in a little bit. Once my family gets back. The rest of them. But, I don't think y'all going to be able to see this. Well, maybe you can, I don't know. I could actually walk out there in that water. Yeah. I could probably walk out there to about waist deep as far as I can see, like right down in there, but then it just drops. I bet I can do some good old fishing right here tonight. I believe that's what I'm going to do. I'll come back over here. I'm going to start fishing at that 
moss area right there, all that high grass, some bass fishing, and come back down through here, do some cat fishing. Because the fish are biting everywhere, you can see them hitting top of the waters. Normally, this has got a bunch of geese over here. I guess they all flew somewhere. But way out there, right there's the boat docks. Over there's some docks. That's got the picnic area over there. Up there where the boat docks is is a little facility where you can actually clean fish. Um, it's got a bathroom and all that up there. So you be, if you have to go to the bathroom and use the bathroom or whatever, it's got it all right in there. And there's a snake in the water right here in front of me. I'll see it. He's. Oh, I see. Just yeah. See He's just sitting there right now. Yeah, well, I said we're going to eventually do a catch and cook. And uh, if that ain't a big enough bass to eat, I don't know what it is. He's kicking, he's kicking at me still. But here's uh, the whole family now. They finally made it. And we're sitting on another part of the Lazar River taking in uh, fishing. But that's a good... Uh, yeah, it's about a good foot. Maybe about a pound and a half. And I caught a brim. No, you I caught a bass. I caught a baby bass. He caught a baby bass. We had to let him go, though. It's too small to eat. But we're going to do a catch and cook tonight. We're going to have some stew. Um, it's going to be going to be a good night. As soon as it starts cooling down out here, it's going to be a great night. But, uh, we're, um, we're going to do a little fishing here for a little bit, head back up to camp, go ahead and get a fire started, and we'll go ahead and, uh, you want to fish right over in that area, we the sort of rocks, and go ahead and get everything ready. There's people coming in, I don't know if y'all can see way over there, though. Way over that way. People coming in, putting their boats in. The people way over there though they're over on that side putting their boats in and all getting ready to do some evening fishing and we're getting ready to go up here in a few minutes get a good fire going get things going for tonight huh go over there hey son i caught that big old bass out that way that's where i'll be tossing toward the deeper end when you throw it out there, just let it set for a second. Your flashlight's on. I know. But look, let it set for a second in the water, and then start reeling that so that you don't spook the fish. Don't hit nobody in the head with it. Anyways. There's people like, like I said, it's way out there. Y'all uh, enjoy these videos, and I mean, that's a... That's a big old bass. I'll cook him over the fire tonight. I got a frying pan, but you know what? I may fry him. That'd be, that sounds good. Sounds That sounds real good. I'll try that tonight. Do some fried fish. But anyways, this is the other spot. And my son out there fishing. Dogs over here beating on a piece of metal. <laughs> My truck's sitting up there. But again, if y'all come out here, just take your trash back with you. Don't leave it out. Because uh, people leave their trash out, it just makes it harder for people to get out here and be able to camp for free. And, I mean, I enjoy it, so this is the kind of lifestyle I like. Hopefully here soon we'll be doing some stealth camping. But uh, if y'all like and enjoy these videos, just uh, take and subscribe and hit that bell. And I'll take and uh, hit y'all back up. Leave me a comment. Let me know what y'all like. Y'all, um, for some reason my camera went upside down on me or whatever. Got the fire going. 
Um, There's something in your We're uh, about to head up out of here. Um, we are calling it a short night because some things came up, so my video is going to be cut short. Um, but other than that, uh, I got y'all video. I'm going to put out, you know, tonight, which is Thursday night. So it'll be two in two days. I am going to do the catch and cook still before we head out because I got my fish hanging right there. I'm going to do a fillet on them so that uh, it'll be easier to cook. And I hope y'all enjoy this video. And I'm hoping I'll get all this, you know, I'll get it all straightened out so we can all, you know, have a good camp and cook overnight. Uh, a few things came up, so we have to pack up and head on out. But y'all um, enjoy this video, and I will see y'all soon. All right, y'all, here we go again. Um, we had to leave the campground tonight. It was, they were doing some work on us. It was not able to camp, even though I had everything set up and ready to camp. Uh, I did bring the fish home, and... This is, I filleted them up. I got several pieces here. I mean, there's a big fish. I'm about to fry them up. And uh, once I'm done, I'll show y'all the outcome of it. And we'll have this catch and cook. But like I said in my last, well, I'll pour my video cut out on me again. Um, we're gonna do a catch and cook down at Big Lazar. As soon as they're done doing what they're doing down there, we're gonna go back down and I'm gonna finish up, you know, well, I'm gonna make another video, of course. But uh, I wanna do a two day catch and, or camp catch and cook. But unfortunately tonight, you know, it didn't work out like we was planning, but I did get to show y'all around. We did some fishing. I showed y'all the campsites and all. And there again, I'm gonna recommend um, y'all to check out Zach Fowler. Uh, He's, he's great. Uh, check out uh, the Outdoor Boys. I mean, they do like I do because I'm a family person, so I, I take my kids with me all the time when I camp, most, well, most of the time when I camp, because I'm going to take them some places it's too snaky. But um, there again, I mean, just go out and check out Joe Robnett, the Wood Beardsman, um, Steve O, and also uh, Ace. He's good. I mean, all of them right there. That's, oh, yeah. N NSWF or NWSF. It's one of the two. But uh, I, I'll get more on that next time I'm on here. Um, but y'all uh, enjoy this video. And, you know, like and subscribe. Hit that button so that you can be notified every time I put out a new video and everything. And I'm hoping here soon I'll be able to make a video or two at least a week. And this is, I mean, this week right here, this will be a second video for y'all, you know, two different places. Um, I've said before in my comments that I've made and everything that um, y'all, anybody around Thomaston, you know, around the Thomaston area and everything, Griffin, whatever, if you're into, you know, camping and stuff like that and you want to do this kind of stuff, I mean, leave a comment. I mean, we can go out and do some camping. I know a bunch of campgrounds we can go to. Um, I do know some places, you know, I like to do some off-grid camping too, so nobody, you know, just out of the blue jump up in the morning and grab up my tent and everything and head out. And I always hit rivers though. I'm always going to be on a river no matter what or a good size lake, something that I can always fish at because that's my main thing is camp, catch, and cook. Um, I do, I will show some, I will show some survival stuff, you know, later on in my videos. Right now, I'm just trying to get my, you know, trying to get all this out there. So if you know people like this kind of stuff, you know, send them my name, let them watch my videos, and we'll just go from there with that. But uh, anyways, I'm about to put these up. Once I'm done, I'm gonna show you the outcome of it, and then we're going to uh, end this video. And that's just that's how we're going to do it tonight. All right, y'all. Y'all well. Yes. That bass all fried up, and battered, and we do the taste test here now. This came off. I mean, look at that meat so white. What I use is um, I batter it in pancake batter, a little salt, pepper, um, little garlic, uh, salt, 
and uh, some rosemary. I'll tell you. That is good. Hmm. That's some good fish right there. I recommend, you know, the walk fighter. Give it just a little bit of sweet taste mm. for the rest of the season. Makes it just perfect. Yeah, it is good. But like I said, y'all go out there and try that out and everything. And um, leave me well, a comment. Okay. Yeah, I caught, I caught the big bass and a little small, little baby jig like that. But uh, if y'all like these videos, like I said, like, subscribe. And I'll see y'all next time.